What's good? Welcome everybody. It's your boy Masquerade and welcome to the official start of Mixer University. Also check out masqueradebeats.com and check out IamMasquerade.net. I'm soon to be home to masquerademusic.com. Today we're going to actually be talking about the new version of Sonar. It's called Sonar X2. Sonar is by far my favorite and I just want to do a quick review of it since we're going to be um, since I'm going to be talking about it from here on out some of the things I'm going to cover on it hopefully will help you in the future if you're deciding on a doll or if you want to learn more about sonar and you want to get a really good if you want to get a really good outside opinion whether or not it's a good doll to get or whether you should invest in it I'm going to say a definite yes Sonar X2 is better than X1 it's got some great improvements, um, but the X, the whole Sonar X series is just amazing. As soon as they went with the transformation and the new look and the new user interface, you can't really beat it. I think the strength of Sonar X2 is really, again, it's really, really easy to use, which is really great. You can pick it up and you can be recording a new song within an hour. And what's really great about it, it has a start, a lot of help, you know, to help you figure it out and get started. Um, this is the beginning screen right here. And if you click on new project, we're going to just click on that. And I'm going to say review. We're going to call it review. Give it a name. We're going to click normal. It has these templates that you can use here if you want. Um, I don't use them personally. I like to start fresh, but it's really cool. And I'm just going to click OK. And this screen right here can be sometimes confusing because, you know, it can look like, yo, what's really going on there? But it's really a matter of just clicking a few buttons and it'll clear away um, anything or any doubts, whatever. So if this pro channel is turned on right there, so you just click that, turn the pro channel off. Um, if you press this console here, that'll make it bigger or halfway bigger. That's your mixing console right here, as you see the three buses. Um, if you hit D, it'll clear that, and then you just get your track view. Click this in here, and uh, click in there and press F to fill it out, or you know, a little bit more. And you can see there that these are your buses. If you hit D again, it'll bring the full mixer console view into thing. And then here is your browser. If you hit B, you can just get rid of that. And you know, you can check a browser. What's really cool about the browser is it can be toggled on and off, no problem, with a click of a button. And then you can get in here and check out your MIDI loops or your plugins for mixing and mastering or your synth rack. All right there, turn it on and off. This is the track inspector. You can turn that on and off with the click of an eye. And this is your track view, and then you can switch back and forth to this is called the multi-dock. So you hit D. In the multi-dock, you can put you know all kind of stuff. You can put a piano roll in there, um, the sequencer, a lot of stuff can go on the multi-dock. And you can toggle those on and off. It's really easy to use. So really really love the um, usability of it and uh, so that's what's really 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 amazing about it the other thing is its capabilities all your plugins that you have available the plugins that come with sonar are amazing um, and they're really really easy to use and then if you check out the mixing console um, they have this they have the pro channel which is just beautiful um, in the pro channel you got an EQ strip um, this is here for a console emulator three different console emulators to give your music or give your sound a nice analog feel nice warmth it has a compressor in it as well two different types of compressors so if you know what those are you know what I mean then you know what I'm talking about so really really good if you don't know how to use compressors we'll go over it later on this is just kind of the beginning of of the beginning.
Okay, so we're going to switch over. So you can turn that off. Each, you can right click in here and put a MIDI channel. Each audio channel in the track can have, you can use the Pro Channel in there, which is really nice touch from Sonar. A lot of, you know, and there's, there's a lot of DAWs that have the same thing, so it's not a big deal. And then also, we can click over to the track view. Everything's fully automatable. You know, you can do automation with your clips. You can do track automation. You can do clip automation. Audio transients. Um, have layers, which we'll go over. A lot of just it's many, many things that you can use to really um, take your production to the next level. The great thing about this software as well is it's not too expensive. Three, four hundred dollars five hundred dollars I think at the most you can get everything you need packaged in to this one deal the really great thing too is when it comes to production music production sonar comes with just like many other dolls comes with a lot of drums from sample magic and loop masters that you can use and I guarantee you if you're in any no matter what kind of genre you play you can find everything that you need in any of these um, in this audio library that it comes with comes also with a set of loops that you can use you know and they're and they're playable so you know from start to finish if you're trying to make an album or record a song from start to finish you can do everything that you need to do right in here Again, just like any other DAW, this is a tool, you know what I mean? The difference is you decide whether it fits your, you know, if you like the look, if it fits your, you know, if the usability fits you and the workflow fits you. It's really easy. The tools that it comes with are great. I'm going to talk about the synthesizers. And the big thing about Sonar X2 is that it comes with Dimension Pro and Rapture and... Uh, it comes with about, you know, Cakewalk TTS, Cyclone, Sign 2, Zeta. Alright, so just to go over some of the things that this thing can do, it comes with Rapture. Um, so the series that I'm going to run, I'm going to do no less than four, no more than seven songs. And it's going to be a project where I go from start to finish. I do the album or project, or whatever you want to call it, from start to finish in Sonar. It's really really great doll to have the one of the things that I think are incomparable is the VSTs in it obviously all the other dolls have VSTs that they come with and they're really good I think that I personally I know that you're gonna love the dolls that come in this as well Rapture is an amazing doll it has great sound to it I mean they've got plenty of stuff for you to to use bases leads I love the leads in it I, that's probably really loud so let me go ahead and turn that down um it comes with some cool Cool expansion packs and stuff that I haven't installed yet, but I will get to those, um, and you'll see those in my further tutorials. But it comes with really good expansion packs. I think it's two, maybe three expansion packs that are really amazing. This is bass guitar uh, VST here, Studio Instruments bass guitar this is really cool. They've got some different ones that you can use. Um, different patterns that you can have play but mainly you can use the different bass sounds in them so I'm gonna put together a, a list of the VSCs that I want to use I'm gonna make it a little bit easier on myself to kind of get through sort through it and just kind of show you but basically you can make your own plugin layout list by going to management layouts I, I have my own here called masquerade um, it's one of the great one of the great things about it. So your synth rack is easily accessible. Your VSTs are very accessible, easily accessible. All your 
your one shots and your your sounds um, very accessible through the browser you can click on them and you can play any of them they work amazing so a lot of dogs do that this is one of them the user interface is really cool so you can't really you can't really beat it plus you can do unlimited number of tracks when you if you're using the producer edition uh, amongst other things they also have the matrix which I don't use um, but you know you can use the matrix if you're performing on the road and stuff like that um, but I don't really use that I do use a pro channel I use a lot of the plugins and so what I want to do or I'm going to do basically is start a series involving creating songs from start to finish just like I did when back when I was using 8.5 except for this time it's not gonna be just one song it's gonna be a series of songs I'm gonna put those songs together and then also release them on on iTunes and do videos for them and stuff pretty much everything you want to do as an artist if you're kind of like a DIY musician if you're looking for something where you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money and you can kinda of get it all in one package I really believe that sonar is a really good doll for you to get because it's really easy to learn it's really easy to use and then once you get going you can pretty much fulfill your entire project using it and um, the tools on it are amazing and you can make your package sound professional that's one of the things that I want to do is I want to help um, some of the students out there and some of the people trying to learn how to do this make it sound professional not like it was done at home um, I'm going to show you guys pictures of my setup pretty soon and you see that it's not much I do it at home I'm actually at the bottom of my stairs in the corner of my living room because I don't have an extra room to do it so what you'll be able to see is you can use this software to make your stuff sound just as good as as the next man's or just as good as stuff that you hear on the radio and you know you can compete and it doesn't have to cost you an arm and a leg so that's it so there's my review of Sonar X1 I hope you like it I hope you um, check in from time to time. Once it's up, please check out MixerUniversity.com. Also check out my own personal music at Masquerade Music or IamMasquerade.net. Um, you know, for now, just check out IamMasquerade.net. Make sure you check out my own music at IamMasquerade.net. Also check out my beats. If you're a rapper and you're looking for some good beats or some beats with hooks, check out MasqueradeBeats.com. My name is Masquerade. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you guys at the next tutorial.